First and foremost, all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wawrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. On down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth. No matter where, whom they may be or what they may look like. Pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters also. The water to Yahweh Shai because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 11. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. For his device is against Babylon to destroy it. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. So the Lord is allowing World War III to intensify. And he's doing this because he loves his people. He's doing this for the sake of you Israelites who are of the elect. He's doing this for you. To bring you out with a mighty hand of this current captivity that we are in modern day. Now it says make bright the arrows. This is speaking of nuclear missiles. And gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. And the kings of the Medes. Ancient day that would have been referencing um, the land of Japhet. Which today that land would be Russia. The Medes today is representing the Russians. For his device is against Babylon. So the Lord is raising up these Russians to have a contrary spirit against America because Russia is going to be a big part in the destruction of America. But not only Russia, but Russia is definitely, you know, one, one of the key players in the destruction of America. For his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. And we are the Lord's temple and the Lord is going to bring vengeance to this to this damn society for what's been done to his people. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes for the Lord hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. So the Lord is going to do everything he said he was going to do. That's why in this current time, even Ukraine's ex-top general has mentioned that we are currently in World War Three. And seeing that we're in World War Three is going to lead to a lot of declines in this society, like a decline in the economy to the point it's going to collapse. It's going to lead to catastrophic food shortages, which is going to lead to. A lot of you so-called Americans dying of starvation, and many people think they can handle that. There's a lot of levels to starvation. That's a horrible way to go out. Okay, but these things are coming, and we're trying to warn our people, and they don't want to listen to us. They don't take us seriously. Okay? O oh, thou that dwellest upon many waters, speaking of America, abundant in treasures, Thine end is come and the measure of thy covetousness. So America is abundant in treasure. And the main treasure that America has are the Lord's people. The main treasure that America has are the Israelites. Let's touch on the book of notification. Joel. Chapter 3 and verse 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. See, the Israelites, the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American today, we're not just normal people. We're the Lord's people. We're likened unto the Lord's silver and gold. We're his jewelry which comes from the word Jew or Judah. 
verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. So seeing what's been done to our people here in this landmass known as America, the vengeance of the Lord is upon this place. So the Lord is going to set up a mighty destruction for America. And you're going to have countries like um, Russia, Arabia, Iran, Iraq, South America, North Korea, etc. They're going to send those arrows flying to America, which is going to leave a mighty destroying wind, a mighty destroying destruction. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, and verse 20. Oh, that's not what I want. It's 5 and 20. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, and verse 20. His severe wrath shall he sharpen for a sword, and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad, and from the clouds, as from a well-drawn bow, shall they fly to the mark. So when Yahweh Shai returns, these nations are going to try to fight against him and the holy angels that appear with him. But he's going to blast them, zap them with lightning bolts, thunderbolts, laser beams that are going to come out of the chariots. And hailstones full of wrath, speaking of the nuclear missiles. Okay, the long range missiles, the supersonic missiles and hailstones full of wrath shall be cast as out of a stone bow and the water of the sea shall rage against them and the flood shall cruelly drown them because the Lord is going to bring a lake of fire. See, going all the way back to the ancient days, you had a flood with literal water during the time of Noah, but this time it's going to be a flood. But this time it's going to be a flood of fire, what the Bible calls the lake of fire. OK, and that's going to be the judgment set upon America, uh, set upon America for what's been done to the Lord's people. And I know a lot of people, they don't want to accept that, but that doesn't take away the truth. The truth is judgment is coming to America. All right. And anybody who has a problem against you know, what we're telling you, that just makes you an anti-Messiah. as what they will say, anti-Christ. Okay? And you're hearing about nation against nation. You're hearing about rumors of war and different things that the Bible's speaking of. And seeing that these are Bible prophecy, a lot of people who claim to be Bible believers are actually showing they never believed in the first place. Because they're trying to pray for America. They're trying to uphold this wicked, evil kingdom. Okay. Let's jump to the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter three. In verse six, I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste that none passeth by. Their cities are destroyed so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. And all of America is going to be destroyed to the point of it having no inhabitants. There isn't going to be any, any people to ever step foot on America again once this place is destroyed. Let's jump down to verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I will rise up to the prey. So the Lord is about to rise up to the prey. He's about to rise up to Esau, Edom. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So Yahweh by Shem Shai is about to bring fire upon the earth not all the earth although it says that but parts of the earth 
such as all of America, are going to be utterly burned with fire. Malachi 4 and 1, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So fire is coming and it's going to come in the form of long range missiles, ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. They're going to be shot from one continent to another. Okay. And America is going to be horribly, horribly, horribly um, destroyed. Okay. It's not going to exist anymore. All right. So now what I'll do is go to Matthews chapter 10 and verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So Yahweh Shai is coming to bring vengeance. Yahweh Shai isn't coming to play the nice guy. He isn't coming to play the humble sheep that you can just throw on the cross and abuse and do what you want to do. He's coming back as a fierce power and he's coming back to bring judgment. And a lot of liars are lying to our people. They're not telling our people the truth. They don't want to go into what's actually happening. They don't want to go into biblical prophecy. They don't want to talk about things that, you know, can offend others and can hurt their view count. It can have them, you know, looked at as someone who is involved with, um, I have a word that it just escaped me. It was literally just in my mind. And then just that quick, it left me. Okay. Uh, treason. You know, they, they don't want to be looked at as a terrorist or they don't want to be charged with treason and different things like that. So they don't want to go into the destruction of America. They don't want to go into how Yahweh Shai is coming back only for his people. They want to make this doctrine a doctrine where anybody can be a part of it for the sake of being liked by the world. But Yahweh Shai isn't coming to bring peace. He's coming to bring a sword. He's coming to bring judgment. Okay? And that's the truth. Let's go to Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 16. Thus said the Lord of hosts, or the Lord of armies, because it tells you in the scriptures, the Lord is a man of war. Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me, the Lord hath said ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. So that will be a lie to tell you that no evil is coming. A lot of evil is coming. But that's the importance of believing in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's the importance of getting in good with them now, being obedient so that um, we can be protected in these evil days to come because we're going to need it. We're going to need it like never before. All right. And I know that message for some, it comes off kind of hard. It may come off kind of scary. But don't fear. You have to put faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. What you really should fear is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, in fact. Okay. But destruction is coming. And those who get left behind, those who are here when that happens, it's not going to be well for them. And we have to tell you that. We have to let you know that. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 15. And I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries. And I will consume thy filthiness out of thee. So the Lord is going to bring a lot of judgments to purge our people. He's going to take out a lot of Israelites. That's going to be his way of cleansing a lot of our people. And thou shalt take thine inheritance in thyself in the sight of the heathen. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord power. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me saying, 
Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. And one thing about the Lord, he's looking for gold. He's looking for pure gold. Okay. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, because ye are all become dross. Behold, therefore, I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury. And I will leave you there and melt you. And what's going to be the, the tool used to melt people? The thunderbolts from the chariots and the long range missiles. The missiles that are going to be shot from these different countries. Those who are here on that day who aren't written in the book of life, they're going to be hit with nuclear raindrops and they're going to drown in the lake of fire. They're going to drown in a fiery flood. Okay. Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof as silver is melted in the midst of the furnace. So shall ye be melted in the midst thereof and ye shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you, and that's a serious matter. Yahweh by Shemiah was shy is going to send them missiles, and that's going to be a token of his fury. Israelites are going to melt, heathens are going to melt. All those who are here in that day who are not written in the book of life are going to melt, and that's scary. So, you have a lot of Israelites trying to lie to our people and speak lies and Talk about the Lord's coming to, you know, bring peace to everybody who just says they believe in him, regardless of who you are, regardless of what name you call on, regardless of how much wickedness you still remain to do. All you have to do is so-called claim to believe. And that's it. You don't got to show no action. You don't have to make any life uh, changing decisions. You just got to be a hypocrite and you can still make it. OK. Let's go to Job 41 in verse 10. Come on, man. Who wants to get caught up in the Lord's wrath? I know I don't. And I know those of you in your right mind, you don't either. Our people just have to understand that judgment is coming. It is definitely coming. And the doors of mercy, the doors of salvation is being closed. In fact, that crack is slimmer than ever before. Job chapter 41 and verse 10. None is so fierce that dare stir him up. Who then is able to stand before me? No one is able to stand before Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. No one has rebelled and has ever prospered. But those of us who are trying, those of us who believe, those of us who are doing our best to be obedient to this word, we're hoping that we can stand before Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai with confidence. Because no one is so bold to try to stir him up and then think they're going to win. We want to stand in confidence, not try to stand against him. Because because standing against him, that's a good way to get rolled over, smashed, crushed, all the above. Okay? So judgment is, is definitely coming. And it's coming in the form of fire. And it's going to be dropped upon Babylon the Great. Okay? So I pray that this lesson, it was simple and edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So with that, I'm going to go on ahead and close it. Kahala Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom until next time. Lord willing.